Jake here, listen up. You hear that sound? Just listen to that static. Here, now listen. What do you hear? Absolutely nothing. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to build a high quality guitar cable with silent ends. By the way guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Alright, let's get started going over some of the parts and some of the tools that we're going to need. We're going to use the Neutrik NP2X-B and that's a mono phone plug. That is not the silent one. This is the silent one right here. This is the NP2X-AU-Silent by Neutrik. And by the way, any of the parts and tools that I talk about in here will be listed in the description. There'll be a link to where you can buy them. Here's some solder. You're going to need some rosin core solder. You're going to need a soldering iron, a set of helping hands, basically some alligator clips so you can hold your parts together while you're working on them, a, um, a razor or a knife, and that's just a, uh, a folding um, uh, box cutter knife. And also, this is a helpful tool to strip the insulation perfectly around on your coax or on your guitar cable. This right here is a very, very super high quality cable. You have to see the shielding on the inside of this thing. This is the Mogami 2524 uh, guitar cable. You can buy it by the foot. And this also, I'm going to link in the description to where you can buy. All right, let's get started stripping this cable down. And you're actually going to see the quality of this cable on the inside, the amount of shielding and um, the wire on the inside, the insulation, especially compared to other guitar cables. If you've ever stripped or broke one in half, took a look inside what kind of uh, shielding or insulation you have inside the cheaper cables. So let's get going here. You can see that that tool actually gives you a really clean circular cut around the cable. I finished it off with the blade and as you can see the the wires the shielding on this thing is um, second to none and so at this point what I'm gonna do is simply take those wires and pull them back and away and we're gonna join them all together and twist them and eventually what we're gonna do is solder that uh, that strand there that I'm creating and that's actually gonna be eventually connected to the plug now the second thing you're going to do is you're going to strip using a blade a little bit of the insulation. There's actually two layers of insulation here before you get to the center wire. You can see there's a black there's a black layer of insulation. Once you get the black layer of insulation off, there's still this um, this other layer of insulation that, that insulates the uh, the center wire, and uh, all that plays into the quality of this actual cable. Let's go ahead and pull that off. And that also we're going to twist together and get it ready to eventually be soldered. Okay, so before we put it on the helping hands, we're going to put on a few of these uh, pieces. They should be slid into position. You could do it now, you could do it after, but I decided to put it on now. Notice the configuration of exactly how I slide these things on because those threads are going to become important when you screw the final part onto the jack to tie everything together. Okay, you can see the next piece goes on like that. It has like a little bit of a split in it, so you can see exactly how I have it set up. Again, just take notice of the orientation and slide that back and out of the way. All right, here's our helping hands. It's a good little tool to have. Again, this is another one of those parts I'm going to link you're going to see it in the description. It's a good thing to have on your workbench when you're working with wires and stuff, especially if you're doing it by yourself. That way, you don't have to have somebody hold it for you. Okay, so those wires that we twisted together, we want to tin them. We want to put a, a nice uh, coat of solder on it. It makes it nicely uh, solid 
in one uh, one solid strand instead of uh, you know this is this is a braided wire or, or it's a stranded wire so you'd basically want to just tie everything together by by putting a, a layer of solder on it. it makes it a much better connection when we go ahead and, and connect this to the actual um, plug all right you're also going to probably need to trim it a little bit depending on how much you left yourself when you originally did this and you may have to put it in position with your plug just like that the center wire goes in the center of the plug and the side wire will be soldered to the side piece of brass there, the one the piece of brass you see on the bottom. And again, sometimes you have to trim it a little bit extra just to get the perfect length. You don't have you don't need too much wire in there. You just need just enough to touch the wire needs to touch where it needs to be soldered. And you can see the center wire goes to the center and the outside wire goes to the outside. Nothing too scientific about that. And let's go ahead and get our soldering iron again and, uh, and tack those, uh, th those wires to the actual plug. One of the tricks with soldering is, especially soldering wires, you're supposed to technically heat up the part that you're soldering first and then just kind of tap the solder against it. Um, you, you don't usually want to take the solder and melt it on the tip of the, of the iron, of the soldering iron supposed to heat up what you're trying to solder that gives it a much better connection once you have the the, the wires connected just give it a once-over look at it make sure it's uh, it's clean and, and connected and there's no uh, cold solder joints there and once you're you're satisfied with that you're gonna slide your um, your pieces up to the tip again and they'll kind of fit together like a puzzle you'll figure it out when you slide it forward is like a little notch and then you're going to take your last piece and that's when those uh, the threads are important because you're going to kind of tighten everything up and you're going to see that you're going to end up with a beautiful plug end. I actually took, in, took the other side of the wire and did that. Didn't film it, but I did the other side of the wire just to get this project done quickly. And um, both sides are done exactly the same way. This is how the plug works. That's why it's silent because it doesn't actually activate until that little center little switch gets pushed in so the the plug tip itself is not live until it's slid all the way in and pressed up against the inside of your guitar or whatever you're plugging it into all right so that's it listen you guys just made a hundred dollar plus cable probably for like 30 bucks if you like this video please subscribe please give me a thumbs up comments are welcome have a great day bye